Divine Light Academy and its unique academic excellence and value formation indeed holistic touching lives of more than thousands of learners Divine Light Academy more than four decades of excellence History of DLA Senior High School Just a short flashback of our DLA Senior High School. Following the nationwide rollout of the Senior High School in June 2016, our school opened its doors to our first grade 11 students composed of 67 students from the three strands of the academic track. 18 ABM students, 7 Hume students, and 42 STEM students. To give the best environment for incoming senior high students, the school leased one entire building adjacent to the main campus. This houses eight fully renovated and air-conditioned rooms, a learning resource center, a computer laboratory, and two teacher's nooks. In addition, the whole building has strong internet connection and a large monitor for each classroom to facilitate instruction using Google Classroom, and Moodle and other applications sourced out by our resourceful teachers. In 2017, we accepted the next batch of grade 11 students while we prepared our first graduating batch for their collegiate courses. Cognizant that the classroom is not the only place of learning, the school network with other institutions and industries to expose our students to the demands of college work and the workplace too. Hence, the school entered into the Connected program of De La Salle University together with other feeder schools in order to upgrade the curriculum and upskill the teachers for the challenges of the new SHS curriculum. Likewise, the school welcomed the invitations of other colleges and universities such as Southville International School and Colleges, University of Perpetual Health and the University of the Philippines to expose our students to different school cultures and environs. As a requirement for graduation, a 10-week work immersion in Crayotech Philippines, a refutable industry partner has been established. In addition, the University of Perpetual Health offered one- to two-week orientation programs for our students who were eyeing medical and health-related courses. The SHS will be celebrating its fourth commencement this year, and we are proud to note that we have successfully graduated young men and women who are either pursuing their college courses in many reputable universities like UP, UST, DLSU, FEU, and others, or having their own businesses as young entrepreneurs. And so we continue our mission based from our vision that we envision a DLA student as a child of light who brings out the light from within for the glory of God, the good of the country, and the world. The senior high school department decided to use these three learning modes. First is the online face-to-face -face or synchronous learning, which we name the Synergy Group. It features the teacher facilitating learning and engaging learners' active participation using various technologies accessed through the internet while they are geographically remote from each other during instruction. In the pictures, you will see how Jamie, my student, and I are engaged in the learning process right at the comfort of our home. It follows a set class schedule. 
The table shows the fourth quarter schedule of grade 11 STEM. They start their day with a homeroom period where they get to meet with their classroom advisor. It lasts for 20 minutes. The day is divided into the AM and PM session. Each subject is allotted 3 hours each. The first hour is for the synchronous teaching by the subject teacher and the next two hours are allotted for the completion of the task. It allows lively synchronous instruction. It is evident from the big smiles on the faces of both the students and the teacher how much they enjoy the lively, productive, and interactive class discussions. Receiving messages from students asking to be excused from attending their online classes is a common occurrence. These are inevitable, so we just advise our students to view the recorded classroom meetings for missed online classes. It is practiced effectively by using the Learning Management System, LMS, or Related Technology. Learning Management System is a software that is designed specifically to create, distribute, and manage the delivery of educational content, where the teacher uploads online his or her lectures, videos, worksheets, quizzes in electronic form. The senior high school department teachers are using Google Classroom and model as their LMS. Learning Platform is a set of interactive online services that provide teachers, learners, parents, and others involved in education with information, tools, and resources to support and enhance educational delivery and management. Most teachers are using Zoom and Microsoft Teams for their video conferencing needs. Good news! The school has subscribed to unlimited Zoom meetings dedicated for each class, so we will have only one platform for the whole school year. Another learning mode is the offline self-paced or asynchronous learning, which we call the integrity group. In this mode, learning content is available online for students to access when it best suits their schedule. The last option is the distance learning using printed modules. It allows learners to use self-learning modules in print format. Note, the senior high school parents and students chose only online face-to-face -face learning synchronous and offline self-paced asynchronous as learning modes. Online distance learning has always been a hurdle to overcome by students and teachers. We all encountered holistic difficulties and never-ending backlogs due to inevitable circumstances. However, with DLA Senior High School, they still ensure inclusive quality education. There is no doubt that may be online or physical classes, DLA Senior High School provides beyond what the students are bound to learn and experience. With them, we have cultivated more of our potentials and capabilities as students, and even I can attest to that. All thanks to DLA Senior High School. In my 10 years of studying in DLA, the Palero has always been a staple for us Divinians. It was a week of celebration, fun, and games. It was an outlet for us students to showcase our strengths in non-academic activities like sports, board games, and even traditional Filipino games. Palero was a week that every DLA student looked forward to. But sadly, because of the ongoing threat of COVID-19, activities like these are deemed impossible. So instead, we had to compromise. Despite the limited time allotted for the planning and the preparation of the first ever e-tournament in Divine Academy's history, we were able to push through with it successfully. 
of course, there were a lot of things to be considered, like what games to be played, what rules to be implemented, and what platforms to be used for the live streaming of the games. Because DLA prioritizes its students' safety, we had to make sure that the platforms to be used for the e-tournament were safe and accessible for everyone. At first, it was challenging and overwhelming for all of us since everything was done online and it was a completely different experience for all of us. But with proper teamwork and collaboration, we were able to do it successfully. It used to be a dream actually, but now it was made possible not only by the school that allowed it to happen, but also by the students who participated in the planning and preparation for the e-tournament. So many brilliant minds were put into use in order to make this happen. And hopefully, this becomes a blueprint for all of the future senior high school students who are into esports and gaming. We're very lucky that the school was open to having an e-tournament and understood how important it was for us students. The SHS e-tournament was a very fruitful experience for all of us, and it improved not only our leadership skills, but also our teamwork and collaboration skills. Good day everyone, my name is Emila Gregorio, a representative of Group 5 from the Section Grade 12 Humes Benevolence, here to disclose a few significant details regarding the study we've conducted, which is entitled as Satisfaction Level in Virtual Education and the Academic Performance of Grade 12 Synergy Learning Group Students. As the title suggests, our research team has focused on investigating the correlation between the variables which are again the satisfaction level of grade 12 synchronous learners towards virtual education and their academic performance in the first semester. As for the results, it revealed that the respondents were very satisfied with online classes and have concurrently obtained a very satisfactory academic performance. Moreover, based on our calculations, there was a positive correlation between the aforementioned variables, which led us to conclude that the grade 12 Synergy Learning Group students' satisfaction level and their academic performance are significantly interrelated. Thank you, that's all. Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Fun Dinary Kitchen, when we have fun doing the ordinary things we do in the kitchen. And yes, you are with me again today. I am your host, Alisa Navarro, and I am here to bring you fun-filled activities through the comfort of your phone or any gadget that you use while watching this video. So anyways, um, as you can see, I don't have any cooking stuff going on. Since due to the popular demand, I will be doing an educational video. And yes, I will be doing a science video. Since in cooking and baking, there is also science. Since our topic today is about surface tension, yes, we will be doing an activity that will tackle surface tension. Now, if you're ready to join me in this activity, well, just tune in and stay with me. So for this activity, what? we will be needing are a glass bowl and a glass bowl filled with water here we go and then we will be needing a needle yes this needle this tiny little thing that we use to sew our clothes and if necessary we will also be needing tissue paper so what will be our objective for today so with this glass bowl filled with water, our objective is to let this needle float on the water. That will show us the concept of surface tension. So if you're ready, and I'm also ready, let's go. So now I will zoom you in throughout the process so that you can see clearly what will going to happen. As you can see, there is our glass bowl and here is our needle. Now, let us make it float. Oops. Another try. I failed again. Another one. Still unsuccessful. How about we try to do it with the aid of our tissue paper? So we'll put a tissue paper on top and then we will put our needle on top of the tissue paper and then we will push down the sides of the tissue paper without 
touching the needle itself. Oh my goodness. Okay, again, pull it, pull it, pull it. I'll put this tissue paper on top. It's there. And then we will be putting this needle on top also. Now, we will push down the sides of the tissue paper without letting it affect the needle. So, slowly does it. Then we'll just scoop out our tissue paper and as you can see the finished product, the needle floats. Have you ever wondered why sometimes the arrow seems to fall short of the target whenever you shoot? Maybe it's because you're aiming too low or perhaps your angle is a little off. But what could be the real reason? Take a look at this. This is a projectile. A projectile is a moving object inside a vacuum going in at least two directions, with only the force of gravity acting upon it. Here, 2D kinematics is applied, which is used whenever an object is moving in two directions. Thus, since it covers two dimensions, it is important to distinguish the horizontal X components from the vertical Y components. Components like displacement and acceleration are vector quantities found in projectile motion. These measurements always consider both the presence of magnitude and direction. In projectile motion, we have two types. The first, let's say an archer is practicing their skills while on a high platform. Now, imagine that we have a switch for gravity, meaning we can turn it on or off at will. First, the archer shoots their arrow horizontally. If we turn off the gravity switch, the arrow will follow a straight path with a constant velocity because there are no other forces. On the other hand, if we turn the gravity switch back on, gravity will interrupt the arrow's motion, changing its velocity. Here, the law of inertia is acknowledged as it proves that an object will keep doing what it is doing unless an outside force interferes with it. For an object to stay moving, a force must be constantly applied to it. So, gravity influences the vertical motion of the projectile, causing a vertical acceleration while it has constant horizontal velocity. Moving on to the second type of projectile, look at this ball passing relay. We can observe several things. First, unlike type 1 projectiles, objects start their trajectory from the ground at a certain angle. Once the ball leaves the player's hands, it becomes a projectile and enters the state of free fall, meaning the only force that is acting on the ball is gravity. Type 2 projectiles also have certain conditions that can determine whether the ball hits or misses. If the ball is thrown at an angle of 0 to 44 degrees, the range of their throw will increase. But if their angle reaches 46 to 89 degrees, then the range will decrease, which lessens the chances of the ball reaching your partner. Besides the angle, if the velocity and height of the throw increases, then the range will increase as well. Every day, we see projectiles even if we may not notice them. A gardener watering some plants using a hose can be a simple example. The water's motion forms a parabolic trajectory. The water slows down when rising and speeds up when falling. Thus, it is a perfect example of projectile motion. Just like in projectile motion, to reach our goals and achieve success, we also have to consider many factors. The angle of a projectile, for example, can be related to our perspectives in accomplishing our dreams. There is no single correct way to the road or target to success, if you will. But with the right mindset paired with a good amount of action, you can achieve anything. Hi, I'm Chad. My strand before in DLA is Accountancy and Business Management. And I'm here to share to you my learning experience and my stay in senior high. You know, before, I do not have the confidence to do what I love to do when it comes to venturing out in business and when it comes to performing and dancing. But because of the teachers really supporting me and the program that they've offered, it unleashed my inner potential and now I own four businesses while being a leader in a foreign exchange company at the same time studying at the LaSalle CSB. After that, I was also offered by the LaSalle CSB a dance scholarship. And this because of the teachers really supporting me and letting us use the resources needed for us to excel in this kind of matter. After that, 
I realized something. The teachers teachers really do invest it on us at DLA. Teachers are really fully equipped in the knowledge that they teach. Because I realized after I graduated, as I transferred in De La Salle, I already ranked one in economics and top two of my class. At the same time, being a consistent dean semester since the day I started in De La Salle until today, which I'm already graduating already. Overall, my experience in senior high is a 10 out of 10 experience. And I'm so happy how it went. Thank you for your teachers and stuff. My senior high school experience is making my college life so far easier. In my GE courses, most of the topics that we are now having are already taught during senior high school. That is why I look back on some of my notes for additional references for my papers and other requirements. Studying senior high school at Divine Light Academy, on the other hand, has helped me not only with my academics, but also with how I cope with the heavy load of requirements at UP. Although there are times that I still get sleepless nights just to finish a requirement, I still do my best to manage my time wisely, just as how I was trained during senior high school. Lastly, DLA SHS amplified my leadership, communication and arts prowess, and intellectual skills, which I now bring at UP and the organizations I am a member of. Overall, DLA SHS has pushed me to my limits.